It's a one and a half centimetre um, seam allowance here. I'm just um, checking down to there that my, I do have a notch here for where to stop. I was just checking that. Usually if I've got the zip I'll just place it in making sure that I'm stitching from the right. to the right point. So one and a half inch, uh, one and a half centimetres in, I'm going to stitch and on this machine that is here. That, that line there is the one I'm going to follow. You'll find that most machines will have that somewhere marked for you and if not, do your own marking. Use some um, sticky tape to place where you most use. So now I'm going to um, pin in the zip. What I've done here is I'm making sure that I'm putting the right side of the zip to the right side of the fabric on the right side of right the back, okay. of the right side of the back panel. And then I'm turning it over to make sure that it's all going to, to cause it has to meet in the middle here. Yeah. So, as you can see, we have um, squares and rectangles. So, I'm actually going to pin this one on the inside first, and then I'll pin it on the outside to keep those uh, in line. The squares and the the squares and the rectangles in um, in line. I learned the other day yes. that you can buy an invisible foot for domestic machines. Really? I'm, I, every time I've tried, um, I've not been able to find one. Oh, oh, they used to tell me they're not around. What is an invisible foot? An invisible foot to put on an invisible zip. Ah. You can get them um, um, for industrial. And I saw one online the other day and I thought, oh, I'm going to buy that because I've never seen it. Now I'm going to pin the outside because I'm stitching on the outside and it has to stay in the middle. This fold has to be in the middle of the zip. Now while I'm pinning on the outside, I also have to be 
aware that I have a pin on the inside which I've got to pull out before I sew somewhere ah there it is so what I do there is make sure I don't pin it in the same place because it's impossible to get out and I'm also left a centimetre seam allowance for the facing. It's all going to turn out as I've pinned it. It's very close. That's good. So change your machine and place your zipper foot on it. So I need to make sure that I have my Um, zip the foot with the needle on this the left hand side as I look at it bottom of this zip leave your um, needle in and then turn it to 90 degrees mm -hmm. 
making sure that you're not stitching anywhere close to the metal part of the zip. And then go over and then turn again. And then come up the inside. For me, I'm going to make sure that my my line, my squares, keep in line. And then I'm, as I get closer to the end, I'm going to open the zip, having the a needle through the fabric and then pulling my zip down <coughs> so that the slide <coughs> is um, out of the way. See how successful. What? Not very. Here. What happened? Oh no, my um the squares are out. Yeah, and it and it's the pushing. Yeah. 